of all, let's look at this number. For in order for something to be divisible by five with no remainder, it should end with either a five or a zero. However, uh, one, two, three, four, till uh, all the way to forty-four, which I'll just call n from now on, does not end with a five or a zero. It ends with four. However, what we do know is that it is divisible by nine. How? Well, let's say we take all of these and add them up. So one plus two plus three plus four. You know what? I'm not gonna be a stupido like Gauss's classmates who wasted all their time. Instead, I'm going to use Gauss's ingenious formula to make this much quicker. So that's just gonna be equal to 22 times 45, which is equal to me. Once again, let's hear it. Okay, so, it gives you a number that's obviously divisible by 9. So, that means that 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way to 44. Oh, God, I should have referred to it as n, sorry. n is divisible by 9. For anyone curious, it gives you a 77-digit number that starts with 1, 3, 7. Okay. Now, all we need to do is, since this is a multiple of 9, all we need to do is take it and, so let's take n, and then subtract it by 9. Now, it's still divisible by 9 because you're subtracting a multiple of 9 by 9. So it's still divisible by 9, but now if you subtract 9, look at the last digit. What happens if we subtract 9? Lal uh, Chad Singh? If you divisible 9, 9 is an evil number. You really do have the stupid. What? 5. What? 5. What? 5 is a good number, 9 is an evil number. Hey, didn't you say 5 was an evil number like 3 minutes ago? Anyways, this gives us 4335. This guy has a lot. Uh, and you know what your IQ is? The last two digits of this number. Anyways. You mean his IQ? Man, you sound like a little whining kid. Anyways, 4335. And since this ends with a 5, it's now divisible by 5. So, if it's divisible by 9 and by 5, it's divisible by 45. So, that means that our remainder here, since we had to subtract 9, was 9.